Our world is changing. We see it every day in the headlines. Freak weather, unpredictable disasters, and the devastating loss of life and property. Climate heating, due to the burning of fossil fuels, makes our world a much more volatile place. But now, a new generation of AI offers a way forward. By analyzing vast amounts of Earth observation data from satellites, we can empower communities and organizations to anticipate and react to these climate events. The collaboration between IBM and NASA has been at the forefront of this innovation. From landing the first person on the moon to the present day, they've been pushing the boundaries of science and technology. IBM and NASA, we've been working for decades together. In 2023, after the big chat GPT moment, we sat together and we asked ourselves the question, can we use this wonderful architecture based on transformers powering these LLMs for something slightly more interesting, more interesting data? And we decided to build the first foundational model for Earth observation called Prithvi. The fact that this data is open source, something both IBM and NASA advocate for, is key to our ability to use it. NASA is all about open science. IBM is all about open source. When you bring both together, you create a wonderful space for innovation. And it's very important also to uh, let everyone take our assets and uh, develop further innovations that we couldn't do with our own you know, um, staff. Okay, let me give you one example, right? Let's say you have a conservationist and uh, you want to understand how your uh, wildlife stock is moving over time. Let's say elephants. Now, you have a technical barrier in order to get it implemented. You don't know anything about geospatial analytics. You don't know how to use Prithvi. Yet, you want to track the movement of elephants. So you might have a drone, you might have images, you might have an instance of Prithvi detecting where image, the images of the elephants are, but uh, you need an agent to translate what you need into something that can be performed by Prithvi. And uh, we open source that and we put that in the hands of the community. Not only the model, but also the tooling so that uh, the community would start uh, creating use cases on top of the model. And uh, we think overwhelmed by how the uptake happened. So everyone was like, uh, OK, now it's very easy to create this use case to detect flooding or to understand the health of the forest or to understand how, uh, for example, the use of land is changing over time without having to have uh, a specialized uh, tons of specialized data or a big HPC facility. IBM has also been working with the European Space Agency to answer the question, what information would an AI model truly need to understand our planet? So building upon our work with NASA, IBM has started the collaboration with the European Space Agency to create uh, the first multimodal generative Earth Observation Foundation model, which, by the way, leads the benchmarks, the community benchmarks. It does have three novelties. First, uh, it's multimodal. So, and uh, it means that we don't have just a particular input, but we have many. And the beauty about that is like from one modality, you can recreate the others. Second is correlation learning. Correlation learning means that uh, we learned about everything at once. And it enables the third uh, feature, which is it's generative. Generative means that uh, the model has learned all the correlations. And if you provide the model with, say, one image of a particular piece of land, we can recreate all the other modalities. For example, if you give me a, a pair of coordinates, I can show you kind of the satellite image of this particular place. Or if you give me a description of a particular picture, we can recreate how it would look like uh, from the vegetation perspective, land use perspective, uh, from the radar perspective. These three capabilities uh, set TerraMind apart, and we see that in the benchmarks. Not only are the satellites looking down on us and Earth, but they're also looking out to space. The future behavior of the sun and the impact that solar incidents could have on GPS communication is something we cannot ignore.
IBM and NASA have just launched the most advanced open source foundation model designed to understand high resolution solar observation data. With this, we'll be able to understand a lot more about how solar activity affects the Earth. IBM and NASA has released Surya, the first uh, native resolution foundational model for the sun. Um, Surya can implement a variety of use cases. My favorite one is the ability to predict visually solar flares. Solar flares are a big deal because they can have effects like disruption of satellite communications, uh, impact on the power grid, uh, and many other effects, uh, and they are very difficult to predict. With Surya, you can have an image of the sun, and we can predict two hours, three hours, six hours from now, we can recreate the same image in the future, and you can see if there is a solar flare, where, which characteristics, which shape, and which intensity is it forming and it's been quite a breakthrough, this one. Taking data from high above us in space and interpreting it in practical ways through the power of agentic AI allows us to understand the very real challenges facing our planet today. <laughs>